As you can see, when you look at the German wall behind us, <laughs> we're in Germany. <laughs> we made it to Hamburg, and this time for the first time as a married woman. Married couple, hello. You're not alone. Also, yeah, you have food true. here on your tooth. Oh, God. Yeah, we made it back to Germany, and the exciting news is that Joss moved, moved to, to Germany. Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought this would happen again? <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought after we talked for years about moving to Spain and Portugal, yeah. now we say, Yo. We're staying in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just our Hauptwohnsitz, which means our main residency. Uh -huh. But we're still gonna be traveling a lot this year. That's just to have a base, and from here we can spend time in Spain and Portugal. Yeah. And then find our home. And for now, Hamburg is a perfect place because all your family are, is here. Oh. Okay, but in this video we're gonna talk to you about all the process what we have been going through silently behind the scenes yeah. these months because it has been a little bit stressful. In order to move here, just had to get the family reunification visa. Yes. The visa is for Germany, but she had to get it in Mexico City at the embassy of Germany. <laughs> yes, a little bit confusing. <laughs> now, a lot of people think you marry a German and then you automatically, magically can live in Germany without any bureaucracy in between. <laughs> but that's not how it works in Germany. No. Probably nowhere. There's a but... lot of steps to go through. And I was very nervous and very stressed out. Yeah. She needed to get the visa and for that she needed a bunch of documents. One of them was the the German exam because she had to prove that she knows German. Yes. Minimum A1. Mm -hmm. And of course, a just German is way better than A1. But she took the A1 exam because she was like, why would I risk anything else? <laughs> yeah, I really didn't want to get stressed out about that <laughs> on top of everything else that I was dealing with. <laughs> so I was like, no, 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 I'm going on the safe route. I didn't even study and I got everything right in the exam. Yeah, 100 points. <laughs> if you want to rock it like Joss in mm -hmm. your language exams, then you can check out the sponsor of this video, which is... Lingoda! Lingoda! Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> so as you may know, Lingoda are like good old friends of ours and of this channel. They are an online language school with certified teachers from all around the world in all of these languages. What's great about Lingoda is that you can take classes anytime you want, basically 24-7 because the teachers come from everywhere. Yeah, in the comfort of your home because everything is online. Every now and then Lingoda hosts the Sprint Challenge, where they challenge you to take a lot of classes in a short period of time, mm. which is two months. So the goal is for you to learn a language fast. And if you do everything correctly, you can even do all of this for free. So let us explain. They have two different options. The first option is to take the Super Sprint, where you take 30 classes a month for two months in a row. Mm -hmm. And if you take all the classes and you follow the rules, then you get 100% of your money back so you can get the challenge for free. Yes, the second option is the Sprint Challenge, which is for those of you that may not have that much time. You're committing to take 15 classes a month for two months, and if you take all of those classes and you follow all the rules, you get 50% of your money back. And there have already been over 14,000 people that have gotten their money back from the Sprint Challenge. Here are some of our favorite things about Lingora. For me, is the teachers. Every single class that I've taken with Lingora has been amazing. And the classes have a maximum of five people, which is great because you actually get to talk. Mm -hmm. And the teachers go one by one and ask you, hey, Yannick, how do you say this? And then it's your turn and you can show what you got. So if you want to give it a try, you can use this code and the link in our description to sign up. And with that, you get 20 euros or $25 off your deposit. Yes. Thank you, Lingora, for sponsoring this video. And now, let's go back to our story. Yes. So, I got all of the paperwork and I got an appointment to go to Mexico City. And Joss was so nervous. Oh my god. She was super nervous. That's when we made that video in Mexico City. <laughs> We're back in Mexico City. That didn't get any views. <laughs> By the way. You probably didn't watch it. So go check it out because, well. I mean, it wasn't interesting. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It was a flop. It was a flop. But just watch it. Just to support. <laughs> so, anyways. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great video. You're going to be so entertained. <laughs> I was freaking out. Oh, God. Why do I keep having everything in my face? That's what she said. So, we went to Mexico City and I was freaking out. I was very, very nervous. You know, there was one thing uh, about the health insurance of Joss mm -hmm. here in Germany. We were not sure if they needed that document or not. Mm -hmm. And so, we thought about it the day before the appointment. The day before. <laughs> so I called Germany, the Krankenkasse, the health insurance, 
to ask, hey, can you send me a document saying that she's gonna be insured when she's in Germany? Mm -hmm. They said, yes, of course. They send it in the night. Yeah. And the next morning she had the appointment. At 9 a.m. Hey, babe, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm very nervous, I'm about to poop my pants. <laughs> I can feel it coming. <laughs> Just uh, about to go into the embassy to apply for the visa. Yes, I'm very nervous. Oh, I hate this part. I don't want to be doing this. When you get to the embassy, you talk to the poly <laughs> that is outside. The poly? <laughs> and then it, he puts everybody in a line. And then you start going one by one, no? So I told him, dude, my husband went to get a copy of his depot, that's pretty far away. Uh, could I wait a little bit longer outside? And he said, if it's your turn, it's your turn. Yeah. You better be fast. And I was fast, dude. I ran. Yes. Non-stop. But they told me, I'm sorry, bro, you have to go in. And Yannick wasn't there yet. So I just went in without Yannick. And like one minute after that, Yannick arrived I arrived, outside. dude. Yo, and I was already oh, inside. Man. I could see you from the window, I think. But then, in the end of the day, she didn't even need the document. So. Uh, <laughs> and Yannick was so annoyed. <laughs> Yannick was sweating. You were, you literally, I don't know how you went all the way there and back that fast. But okay, I was inside and I literally could feel every bone in my body shaking. I was freaking out. I don't know why I get so nervous. I was doing this with my teeth. Uh. And then they bring you to a booth and then they interview you. Yeah. And they ask you everything. How did you meet? When did you meet? Uh, who proposed Why did to you who? Meet? <laughs> who, who? Where did he propose to you? Every detail. Did they ask you for my birthday? Yes. Because yes. sometimes she gets it wrong. I always get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, just came out and she was super chilled. Yeah, I was like, I she did it. She was like, I did it. Yeah. And it wasn't even that bad. <laughs> they said I had everything. Yeah. And they told me the visas are taking longer than expected to arrive. And I was like, oh my God. Because around like eight weeks after that appointment, we had our flight to Germany. We yeah. had it already booked because, you know, the one-way ticket is way more expensive than a round trip. A round trip. So we booked the flight back to Germany. Yeah. With enough time, according to us. <laughs> according to the internet, because on the internet it said four to six weeks. Yeah. And they said it might take longer than eight weeks. It was scary because mm -hmm. especially she had to leave her passport with the embassy. Yes, we couldn't go anywhere outside of Mexico no. either. One and a half weeks before we were flying, mm -hmm. we still didn't have any news. No, and they tell you at the embassy, please do not contact us asking any questions about your visa process because we won't answer anything and this is just delaying the process. So I started reading online a bunch of forums on Facebook from other couples that had similar experiences and I found a couple that said, my husband in Germany called the Amt, I don't know where, which Amt, and uh, he asked about the process, how it was uh -huh. going. In that moment, they said, oh yeah, we're gonna do the process right now. And the next day, the girl got the pizza. So I was like, Yannick, call Germany. I didn't for a while, mm -hmm. but then I did. Yes, because we were already <laughs> getting, was close. getting close. It was getting close to our <laughs> flight. So I called and then they were like, yeah, it's already in the system, mm -hmm. but it's not done yet. Yeah. And I was like, well, we have a flight to Germany and she needs that visa before the flight. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, well, you don't book a flight before any news. They always school us. They <laughs> like school schooling us. me. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Like, oh, well, we had to. And then she was like, okay, I'm going to send an email to the person in charge and let's see, maybe she can finish it. And, and the finished. next day it was done. The next day they sent Janik an email stating that my visa was approved. Yes, right? approved in Germany. Now it all depended on the embassy in Mexico. And I was like, come on, Mexico, Mexico, <laughs> Mexico. Dude, I had no idea what was happening. I, I called the embassy. They didn't give me any information yet. The next day, I get a phone call at night, at 9 p.m. The, the last day that it could have arrived. A weird number. I answer and it's a guy, hey, Miss Jocelyn, I'm outside of your house. I'm going to deliver a package. Ah! I was so excited! <laughs> My visa arrived the last minute. Okay, should I open it? Yes. Oh, I know. What? Okay, it says, Esperamos que su estancia en Alemania sea placentera. Mm. La vida, la vida, la visa se expide por 90 a 180 días. Si tu estancia es mayor a tres meses, regístrate en tu domicilio alemán en bla, 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 bla. FZ Ah, reunificación familiar al esposo alemán Janine Rubel. Se logró, se logró. Se logró, se logró.
<laughs> yeah, so that happened. We were very happy. We flew to Germany and she got in without any problems. They mm -hmm. just looked at her passport, saw that visa. Didn't ask anything. Yeah. He didn't say a word, I think. No, I... he was in a bad mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so we, we got in. And we didn't let your parents know because we wanted to surprise them. And we surprised my sister. Yes, it was awesome. So, okay, now you may think she has her family reunification visa. She can live in Germany happily ever after. <laughs> no, that visa is only good for three months. And after three months, I have to change it into a residence permit. Yeah. So the first thing you have to do when you get to Germany with one of those visas is, first of all, register yourself in the city where you're going to be living. And then after that, you have to apply for a residence permit in the Ausland der Behörde. She could apply for the residence permit online. Wow, Germany is so modern. Finally, it's not for <laughs> post. <laughs> and then we were supposed to book an appointment right away online. There was no appointment available. N no appointment, right? <laughs> like literally the entire year there was nothing. Yes. And we were like, okay, what are we gonna do now? Yeah. So I just clicked on, okay, done. And then we tried to send an email. No one's answering. We tried to call the AMT. No one's answering. Then we look up the AMT because I have to go to a specific one. And it has one star out of five. <laughs> so, and all the comments are like, I'm oh, waiting. my visa is already gone and they're not answering. I don't have a termin since two years. <laughs> two years. Five years. Yeah, I'm freaking out there because all the reviews are so bad. Yeah, so we were like, okay, let's drive to the AMT. <laughs> they have opening hours mm -hmm. and apparently they have an emergency emergency appointment where you can just show up. Yeah. So we looked up, okay, today it's open until 12. We arrived there at 11. Yes. And they closed at 10. Oh without anyone knowing. And there were so many people and they had to go home. Yes, and we had to drive like 30 minutes there and 30 minutes back. So we were pretty annoyed by that. A week later, we went again mm -hmm. earlier to ask them what's gonna happen with her residence permit if she doesn't get it on time and her visa runs out. Yeah, I don't have an appointment yet. And also in two weeks, we're flying to Paris and we're mm -hmm. not gonna come back for like three months. Yeah, we actually were not planning on coming back for, for the, the entire, entire year. year. Yeah. <laughs> for the entire year. And what's gonna happen then? I explained it to the woman and she said, okay, you can come back two weeks before your visa expires to get a Fixionsbescheinigung, like a weird paper that says, okay, you can still stay in Germany. Like a temporary residence permit. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, but in two weeks we're going to France and we're not gonna come back for a while. Can I come before I go to France? Yeah, instead of before the visa is about to expire. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. <laughs> and she said, yeah, busy with something else, yeah. Yeah, she wasn't paying much attention at all. And also, it's a complicated topic. So like, even if you guys didn't understand it, of course she didn't understand it either. Because <laughs> it's confusing, you know? <laughs> but she didn't care. No, she didn't ask much more about it. And we just thought, okay, then I guess we can come back. Yeah, she said yes. And today is the day. Yeah. So right now, we're about to go to the Ausland der Amt in the hopes that I can get a Fiktionsbescheinigung. Welcome to Germany. Welcome to Germany. Was it a mistake? <laughs> <laughs> Was it a mistake? No, you just have to go through these once or twice. Once or twice every couple of years. Let us know in the comments. If you have moved to Germany or to any other country, let us know how the process was and if it was as bureaucratic as here. But now we have to go before they close the ant. Yeah, so wish us luck. So guys, we're currently looking for a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go to the Ausländer Behörde here in Hamburg. Are you feeling Yannick? Are you optimistic? Do you think they're gonna give us the fiction special? 50-50. 50-50. We'll see what happens. Not tall. Let's go. Let's go. There's so many people with the same issue. <laughs> so they made us wait there for a while and they said, I'm not getting a fiction for China Gold. Stupid. We can explain more later. We have Donna. Yay. That looks so delicious. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> I'm halfway through with my Donna. Donna. Donut? Um, <laughs> and they put so much sauce because it didn't have enough originally we went and told them and then they went crazy 
<laughs> so now it's like a moist. Look at that at the bottom. It's already building another lake underneath. <laughs> oh, it's a sad day, but at least we got Donna. We're back. Uh, just just watched our wedding video. I'm emotional. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. By the way, this is a nice time to thank you for all the nice comments you've left for our wedding video and all the nice wishes. Yeah. They've been awesome. Super beautiful. Yeah. We're very happy that you like what we do. Yes. So just didn't get the Fixionsbescheinigung because of course what the woman told us last time wasn't true. My visa runs out in July and we're still in May. And she said I can only get a Fixionsbescheinigung two weeks before my visa runs out. Yeah. So by that time we're gonna be in Paris. So we have to come back. Yeah. Long story short. Long story short, we Great. have to come back from Paris to I'm Hamburg just to get that paper. I'm gonna send them the invoice for our flight. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. It's gonna take three years until they answer your email. Anyway. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That could be But worse. that's um, how things are in Germany. We want to make a video about how to plan a wedding in the Riviera Maya. Mm -hmm. If you want to see the video, let us know in the comments down below. Yes. And that was it for today. Cheers.